I'm now going to talk about analysing some statistics from the data that you've collected. Firstly, the green bar, it happens to be green on my version of the spreadsheet, is called the status bar and as you can see it's completely empty. But when I paint with the mouse some data fields, it starts to populate and you will have noticed this by using uh, Excel spreadsheets. It gives you the average, the count, numerical count, the min and the max. It may give other things too. By right clicking on that it gives you the option of checking or not checking certain fields that you want to have uh, visible on the status bar. So a, a quick check of data will, will yield, especially numbers, will, will give you results straight away. But just choosing all of the participants of this data set and finding their average age isn't really useful. What is useful is to filter by male or female. So I'm going to demonstrate the use of the filter and it always starts with the filter setting on the data page. By choosing filter it will insert a drop down menu along all of the column names across the top. If we choose the one that we want to filter in this case it's gender, you'll see it opens up some options sorting and some things called text filters which is, is rather advanced but I'm going to focus on these three items down here and they're a little checkbox to say select all or if you just choose one of them say female and click OK you'll see you only see the female results. If I click off with the female and on with the, the male, you'll just see the male results. So now when you paint the ages, you'll see the average age of the males is 34.8. So it's a quick, easy way to filter and then uh, to be able to check the results that you need. While we've got the filter set on gender and chosen the male, I'm going to show you how to sum some data. We obviously don't need to sum the ages but let's say we want to sum the dollars, the contribution amount. Now by painting those cells, again when we look down on the, on the status bar you'll see a sum of 110 is one method. If you want to capture it and have it appear on screen, we click on a cell below that column, find the formulas tab on the top of the spreadsheet and we'll go to auto sum. Now the computer will automatically assume you want some cells that are above that target cell but you could choose any cells. It will allow you to paint in information into the into the total section and in this case I'll, I'll choose the contribution amount being all of the mail items and then hit enter and we'll get 110 as a result and as you can see that's equivalent to the 110 we had before. So that ends the series of videos on setting up a spreadsheet for the collection of data with the right fields.